Hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hola. Okay, one more time. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mr. C. All right. So we're going to go over the replication uh, worksheets that we got. These are called biozones. Um, I don't like them very much, but I couldn't really find anything better for you to practice, and I think you needed to practice this a little bit. So uh, let's just go over this. Um, what's the point of DNA replication? Yeah, Ganekios. The purpose of DNA replication. Louder, please. The purpose of DNA replication is to create a new genome for a new cell. Okay. Yeah. You need a new cell, you need a new cookbook. It's pretty simple. Um, why would we need new cells? To heal growth. To heal growth. Old, ones Old ones die. To learn more. To learn more. Why? Kind of like that neuron thing. It so is it is the neuron thing, yes. That's why you read that. Um, so what does growing new neurons in the brain allow you to do? Or allow a bird to do? Learn new songs. Learn new songs. Um, I actually saw this guy in Nottebaum. I met him. And uh, we talked for an hour. And all we did was listen to bird songs. No, he's actually pretty cool. Does he have long hair? I don't think so. I don't remember exactly what he looks like. I just remember the songs. Um, all right. Summarize the steps involved in DNA replication. Yes. Um, step one, unwind the DNA strand. Sure. Step one, unwind the DNA strand. I'll buy that. Two. Sure. Okay. Create the DNA segments. Step three. Sure. So glue them together with what? Ligase and um, and replace the RNA nucleotides, right? Okay. Can I guess? Yeah. So these are not great. Um, so this could be many things. Step one could absolutely be find the origin. It could be activate the pre-replication complex. Um, it could be many things. What's that? Replace. It would. Okay. Sorry. Might be. Um, all right, Menomina, what does uh, helicase do? Okay, does helicase increase tension in the DNA or decrease it? It increases it. It increases it. So in that sense, is it bad for DNA or good for DNA? It's bad. Okay. Um, now, yeah, go ahead. Um, for the uh, summarize the steps involved in DNA replication on the previous day, so steps one, two, and three, but yesterday when we talked about it, we went over a lot more. Than yeah, no, and that's why I'm not such a huge fan of this. Um, but again, I just needed you to, to do something. Um, all right, so I know we didn't go over DNA polymerase 1 and 3. And to me, guys, that is not important. That distinction is not important. Um, first of all, it's not even, I mean, I think we've moved on from DNA polymerase 1 and 3 in, in the actual knowledge base. Um, eukaryotes don't use 1 and 3. But uh, what I do want you to know is the two functions of DNA polymerase. What were the DNA polymerase functions that we talked about? Ganekios. To um, digest RNA primer and replace it with DNA. To digest the RNA primer and replace it with DNA. And yeah. And then to extend after To extend the RNA primer with more DNA. Sure. Um, what's that? You tell me. Actually, no. No, doesn't it, doesn't it add on the base pairs and then go back and digest it? Yeah. If it digests, yeah. it's just like, what the heck do you continue? Does it have it at the same time? No, the Okazaki is formed. Ah. Yeah. No, no, the first. The so if you guys think about the, the, ep, uh, the model of the replosome. What's the replosome? The machine dealy um, that we looked at. You'll see that everything is actually kind of happening in the same time. It's not happening in the step one, step two, kind of step three things. Really, as far as steps goes, the only ones are going to be replication complex assembles. Replication complex is copied or activated, and then 
DNA replication happens because all those things are happening at the same time. RNA polymerase is laying down things at the same time that RNA DNA polymerase is replacing them at the same time ligase is gluing things. Um, what's that? Yeah. What's that? Oh, because on the video, I'm actually showing the video of what I'm talking about right now. All right. So, okay. Determine the time it would take a bacteria to replicate its DNA. See note in the diagram above. Yes, Konekios. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. That's how long this whole thing takes. For bacteria. Uh, isn't that the next, isn't on the net, that, that, yeah. isn't that on the next page? No. no? Um, I believe, I be, it's either two hours or two days. Oh, so it's not 20 minutes? No. For no, humans. For prokaryotic cells. For prokaryotic, that's what we just talked about. Yeah. So it's really, it's less complicated. It's not less complicated, it's shorter. Okay. That does not necessarily mean less complicated. I don't know yet, because they don't have any cells really quickly. No. Um, so, bacteria just divide much faster than we do. All right. Um, Is that, wait, would that be why when we get, like, a bacteria, like, you get sick, like, you can't, not like, but, I don't know, what's, what's a bacteria? Thing? Yeah, so that's why bacteria are dangerous. Because they can divide. So, like, anthrax divides faster than we can kill it off. So, like, that's why when we get sick, that's why our immune system. Is that why we, um, so that is why antibiotics work, because they slow down the bacteria replication. It doesn't speed up our replication. No. So actually what antibiotics do, and this is kind of cool, is they jam the ribosome, a lot of them, so that bacteria can't produce new proteins. If they can't produce new proteins, can they produce DNA polymerase? No. They, they die off. Bacteria, would they use DNA polymerase or RNA? They do DNA. Okay. Don't forget the, the thing we just talked about is actually DNA, uh, DNA replication in bacteria. bacteria. All right. Um, so let's look at the next page. All right. Identify each of the structures marked A through F. What is A talking about, most likely? Yeah, so I would probably go with double helix there. Or parent strands, sure, either one. It's your pingry education at work there, bro. Number D is also. What is B? Arjun? Yeah. Uh, B could be helicase, absolutely. What else could it be? Okay. Um, as far as kitchen utensils, yeah, it's a fork. C, uh, yeah. Right, so in actuality, where is DNA polymerase in relationship to RNA polymerase? They're attached. They're attached. Okay, D, Ganekios. single strand. Right. So really important, there was, um, when I was working in the restaurants, there was a French chef that I used to work with, and uh, when he met me, he comes up to me, and I gave him my card, and he goes, wait, 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 your name is uh, Luc De, and then that, he called me De from then on. I didn't like him very much. Did you quit, or did he fire you? Uh, he left before. And you took over? Uh, no, I didn't, I was never a chef. I can cook, but I'm not a chef. I ran the restaurant. Kind of. So you fired? No. There was a fallout. His name is Jonathan Jerusalemi. You can look him up. He's in Atlanta somewhere. Um, yeah. He is one of the top chefs in America. Um, no, but you, if you go go look him up, and you can you'll find out some pretty interesting things. All right, E. Uh, let's see. What is E referring to? Wait, where is E? I can't I don't even see it. It was on the Oh, oh, that is not the daughter strand. That's RNA. 
Yeah, it's how you know it's RNA. It's just white. It says your daughter DNA, right? Oh, my bad. Thanks for thanks for thanks for correcting me. Um, don't forget I control your grades. Um, and uh, don't forget I can make this quiz count. Don't forget that we all love you in this F. F. What is F? Kylie! 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 What's F? I can't hear you. Oh, you didn't do it? All right. Jago? All right. Can we be more specific? Can you be more specific than nucleotides? Um, All right. All right. Quiet, 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 quiet. Um, could that be a T, an A, a G, or a C? Yes. No, it's a G in that Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. 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 But what do we call all the letters together if we don't want to use a letter? Um, there's an actual a variable. There's like a n. All right. So n can be any of them. Now, here's a real question: Is this a triphosphate or a monophosphate? No. It's mon. No, it's true. It's. Mm. All right, let's go. Vela's got some um, cojones. What? It's negatively charged, so it's a triphosphate. Oh, but. Why? Because that's a D. Because if it wasn't, it would be D, whatever. It is D. No, that's the last time I said it. Regardless, it's triphosphate. I just know it's it's DNA. It has to I'm feeling that it's triphosphate. It is triphosphate. DNA is triphosphate. Um, but when it's in the strand, it's monophosphate. Don't forget that those pieces are not only just the pieces that we use to build DNA, but they're also providing the energy. So, they have so when, it, when the DNA is say, you can say we can say, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, it takes those phosphates to energize and keep them covered? Yes. Absolutely. Um, okay. Match each of the processes to the correct summary of the process. Provided below, unwinding of parental DNA, double helix. Exactly, that's B. Um, what? I'm kidding. Free nucleotides occupy spaces along exposed bases. Four. Uh, unzipping of parental DNA. Didn't we just do that? Three. No. Three. Unzipping one. There's one. No, it's three. Oh, unzipping is three, yeah. Because unwinding is different than unzipping. No, but when it has what, it's like pointing to going down. What? It's just an arrow saying, look, this is where one is. No, but like one, it's like... What, I thought it's it was a, like pointing to a saying that it was like going down the little thing. Okay, there's way too many pronouns in there. When you when you listen to this and, and you hear this question, I thought it was pointing to it saying that it was going down on the thing. Fine. <laughs> you, know how, you know how the sheet says number two? The sheet says number two. Sheet, I agree. Right to the very right of number two. To the very right of number two, there is an unwound double strand of DNA. There is also a number one above that. There is a number one above that. And the, the arrow is playing in between, so I thought. Right. The arrow was so, everybody that's listening to that, I would like to apologize for taking the last 30 seconds of your lives. Um, Thank you, Mr. But uh, <laughs> Jackson just wanted to make sure that you understood that this one here could possibly be um, what enzyme? Yeah, I'm asking you. Yeah. Did you give him the answer? Wait, so then does that mean that the first one is one then? Because if the unwinding happens before... So unwinding would be two. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right, and splitting would be three, I would say. All right, any other questions before I stop recording? All right.